Can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what we're going to be talking about today? Hi, my name is Tatiana Castro, and I'm the director of marketing here at William Barthman Jeweler. Today, we're going to be talking about a photo shoot that took place in partnership with the Sophisticated Weddings publication for their fall winter edition. William Barthman got to be part of the process by accessorizing the beautiful celebrity couple, Lindsay Morgan and Sean Sipos. I can't wait to take you behind the scenes of that day because honestly, it was really something special. Tell me about your day at the Sophisticated Weddings photo shoot. Where do I start? After hauling a cab in true New York fashion, might I add, I arrived at the glass house located in Manhattan and let me tell you, it was gorgeous. I'm from Florida, specifically West Palm Beach, and you don't get to really see huge buildings like the one I saw for this shoot. But nonetheless, it was a spectacular venue as a whole. The shoe itself had roughly about seven different wedding dresses for Lindsay, some of them including some famous brands like Ines de Santo from White House Bride, Milanova from Bridal Reflections, and honestly, just many more. They also had a pretty good selection of suits and tuxes from a company called Sartoro for Sean. But of course, the fun part came when we got to coordinate which watch or jewelry collection would fit best for the outfit changes. Mind you, this was a very long shoot. We arrived at 1 p.m. and didn't stop until about 10, 15-ish at night. It was obviously worth it, though. I think I especially love the florals and furniture rentals that surrounded each different shoot within the same location. And of course, those intricacies could not be completed without Christina Weber for the rentals and premiere events by Rima for the floral designs. Why did you choose the Damiani Margarita collection for the cover shoot of Lindsay and Sean? To be completely honest, I didn't know that when we were shooting the Milanova dress from Bridal Reflections that it would end up being the cover of the Fall Winter Sophisticated Weddings magazine. Funny enough, when she first put on the dress, I looked at what headpiece Bridal Styles Boutique was putting on Lindsay, and I wanted to go for this really impeccable, almost choker-like Roberto Coin necklace. It was a showstopper. 18 karat white gold filled with diamonds all around the neck from the collection Venetian Princess. But... After putting it on her and seeing it with the dress and the headpiece, it was a little too much since the dress itself had really beautiful diamond and floral details. I didn't feel like the necklace was really getting its moment, if you know what I mean. So in turn, I opted for something more dainty, but still beautiful in its own way. So instead of it clashing with the dress and the headpiece, uh, we ended up going with the 18 karat white gold diamond margarita flower necklace. And it was accompanied by the matching bracelet and ring from the same collection. And honestly, it was just ugh, chef's kiss. To see it on the cover was honestly just an added bonus. Out of all the pieces picked for this shoot, which was your favorite on Lindsay? And which was your favorite timepiece on Sean? Oof, this is a, this is a tough one. Every single piece, jewelry and watch alike, were picked so intricately for each suit and dress change. And not to brag, but we do have some amazing pieces, especially for bridal events and ceremonies. I have to say my favorite on Lindsay was the five leaf earrings in 18 karat white and rose gold with white and black diamonds. It's from the Pascal Bruni's Hardini Sargretti collection. And no joke, they were to die for. I especially loved when she was styled in the 18 karat white gold diamond snake necklace from Roberto Coyne. Accompanied with the Christmas bridal dress from Laura's Boutique, it was a stunning combo. Now, on Sean, my favorite timepiece has to be our Bulgari Octo Finissimo Chronograph GMT. I think it went perfect with the dark blue and white line suit that he had on, and it just complemented the setting they were in for that specific segment of the shoot. It photographed really well. It looked, like, really nice. And it just stood out and it still kind of went together. It was modern and edgy, but still whimsical and dainty. It kind of had the best of both worlds. How was it working with so many vendors at once? It was fun and exciting. I've had my fair share of photo shoots and working in fast paced environments, but never in the jewelry and watch aspect of styling. I come from an automotive background, so it's very, very different. But nonetheless, I met great professionals who really live to work on their craft. And a special shout out to the hair and makeup team, Lily Rivera and Tiffany Manus from Bridal Gal, for making me feel so welcomed as I introduced myself to everyone. But overall, everyone was so great and so helpful. And it was just really nice to see how many different creative minds got together to work for one specific goal, which in this case was styling and making sure that everything kind of photographed well. So it was honestly awesome. And in your opinion, what essentials do you think you need for that 
perfect shoot. I would say planning ahead and having a backup or four, <laughs> just in case, you know, those don't work out. No, but in all seriousness, aside from the technical elements like lighting, angles, composition, location, colors, and many more items, I think it's important to think editorially and make sure you're staying true to your brand's image. Keeping an open mind and going in with a positive attitude, especially for those longer shoot days, helps the process and makes it an enjoyable experience for you and those around you. Picture the result you want to see and put it together until that result in your mind becomes a reality. And of course, as cliche as it sounds, just remember to have fun. Each shoot is always going to be a different experience, but none of them are worth having if you don't genuinely enjoy the process to get to the outcome that you want. So what's coming up next? Is there anything our readers can look forward to? For those of you who are reading or listening to this that don't know, William Barthman Jeweler has two locations. One in Brooklyn on Kings Highway and the other in Manhattan on Wall Street. Our Brooklyn store is currently going through renovations, but we're estimated to hopefully be done by the end of the fourth quarter and celebrate by throwing a grand reopening party. More details to come the closer that we get, of course. But for now, we are delighted to announce that we are attending a private event to celebrate the Sophisticated Weddings Fall Winter Edition and see some new designs from the famous designer Milanova, which was featured on the magazine's cover. All I can really say is stay tuned for the next social post about it on all of our channels and thanks for tuning in.